As with all ocarinas, make sure that all fingers are completely covered, all holes are completely covered. No leaks or your ocarina sound will suffer. Uh, since you can wear this ocarina as a necklace, I recommend you do so this, so that you don't risk accidentally dropping it, because that would be kind of bad. Um, keep a firm grip on the chambers of the ocarina, but don't grip so tightly that your fingers become tense. That will make your fingers swell, slow while playing, and will also cause your fingers to tire out faster. Even in all my experience playing ocarinas and the flute, uh, this is by far the most difficult ocarina I have ever played. But keep in mind, I only have six ocarinas. Um, once you get the basics down, and as long as you keep practicing, uh, it becomes easier to play and to work with. First, we'll start with reading the music. You know, because that's kind of what you need to do. Um, the fingerings are displayed as two columns of four dots looking a bit like this. For special instances, when the thumbs need to be removed, the ochre dots look like this. Uh, word of advice, do not remove uh, the thumbs, your thumbs on the bottom, unless you are told to do so. Um, Looking at the music, the dots representing the larger chamber are on the left side, displayed on the left side of the two columns. Okay. And the dots on the right side represent the smaller chamber. Okay. Um, the dot on the top the dot on the top is the dot is the the dot representing the smallest hole so it goes from bottom to top basically um, and of course the dot on the bottom the on the bottom right there represents the largest hole and the one your index finger covers um, here is a, maybe this will clarify a few things for you guys. Okay. Um, now when a dot is blacked out, that means it is completely covered with your finger. So no, no leakage there. Okay. When a dot is only halfway blocked out, that means your finger only halfway covers the hole. So, either like this or like this, I don't really know, it's displayed both ways. I think it depends. So, either pull it back or pull it up. Um, and then, of course, when a hole is, uh, when a dot is not blacked out at all, that means you lift your finger up and don't cover it at all. Here is also a another illustration of that. And that's basically how you read music. Now since this is a double ocarina, that means you can either play one side of the ocarina at a time or play both at once. Uh, let's start with the larger chamber since it's in a more comfortable range, I think, for mo mo most of us. Okay, press your lips firmly around the left side, this side, of the ocarina uh, and create a secure seal so that there is no leakage once again. And make sure you press it against and not around. You don't want to eat your ocarina, that would be kind of weird. Um, Using the book included with the purchase of the Harmony Double, should you decide to purchase one, or if you already have one. Uh, practice going up and down the scale until you feel comfortable doing so. Until you, until you feel comfortable with the fingerings and the notes and all that stuff. Um, if you're feeling a 
of interest, then you can try improvising melodies using just those notes. But I'll leave that part up to you. Um, and then once you're cool with that, then you can start on the smaller chamber. I hate that smallest hole. It's annoying. Um, okay. Now it's time to tackle both chambers at once. Woohoo! Um, place your lips around the holes, but not completely around the mouthpiece itself. So let, once again, like this, like this, and not like this. Because if you do that, then it makes it harder for you to switch between the two chambers of the ocarina while you're playing, should you decide to do that. Um, start out slowly, once again, going up and down the scale with both chambers at once. Um, and then gradually speed up, but don't go so fast that you keep making mistakes, because if you do that, you won't get any better any soon, and no one wants to hear that. So, um, when you feel comfortable, and I do mean comfortable, playing this, the all sorts of speeds and at all sorts of tempos, um, consult the book included with your Harmony Double, Harmony Double Ocarina because it's time to start playing some real music! Take a peek inside your book and start out by playing the songs that you know well. Um, it is a bit difficult to play different fingerings at once, well, perhaps unless you play piano. Um, so if need be, start out playing the melody on both sides of the ocarina. Um, the melody uh, in the book, the melody is usually played by the smaller chamber, um, but the fingerings displayed for the smaller chamber can be played on the larger chamber, and you'll just end up playing melody on both sides. Uh, pretty simple. Um, playing the same part on both sides will help you um, play harmonies because it gets your fingers moving and your ears used to the sound of the. Uh, uh, you're used to the sound of the, uh, the two chambers being played at once. Because believe me, the first time I ever picked this up and started playing it, it sounded so weird. So that will help. Um, once you get really skilled at playing melody only, begin trying to learn harmonies. From my personal experience, I would advise going very, very, very slowly. And then little by little, <laughs> playing the songs um, faster. It may take some time, you know, all things, all things good usually do, um, but as long as you keep practicing and never get up, give up, you will get better eventually. Now with some songs that I know incredibly well, such as Scarborough Affair and Drunken Sailor, eh, I have taken the liberty of improvising. If you have a good ear and can learn songs by ear, as I do with all my videos, um, then you can attempt improvisation too. For example, this is what I have done with Scarborough Affair. Now this is my version. if you make it your own. And this is what I've done with Drunken Sailor, or what you can do with Drunken Sailor as well. Sorry, that kind of that came out a little funny. Um, with that one, I didn't change any of the notes. I just played the rhythm differently. Uh, you can do all this and much, much more with your Harmony Double Ocarina.